Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be working on this hat. This hat is made with Yarn Bee Fireplace Comfort in the color Busy Bee. It is a 70% acrylic, 30% wool. It's a medium four weight. And we are gonna be using our six millimeter hook six millimeters. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a needle, and if you have a pom-pom or you can make your own pom-pom. Now I made this out of the yarn bee yarn I just showed you. Then I made another one out of Karen Simply Soft. If I remember right, I think the color of this one was sunflower. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have it with me right now, but so this hat, we don't have a brim or a border on the bottom. We just have our chain, row one, row two, and so on. And we only have one pattern repeat, and it is row two. So all we're gonna be doing is repeat, we're gonna work our chain, row one, row two, repeat row two, row two, row two, row two. We're gonna repeat that for 22 times, so we'll have a total of 24 rows. Now, this hat is a drawstring hat, so we're just gonna work it up. We're gonna weave our a long tail all the way around and then pull tight, and then we're just gonna stitch it closed. And the stitch multiple is, find where I got my pattern wrote down. Multiples of three. So for our hat, we're gonna change, uh, chain 72, but if you need smaller or bigger, just add threes. And let's see, is that it? I believe so. So let's get our stuff together and get started. Okay, to get started on our hat, we're going to start with a chain of 72. Remember, you may need to chain more or less. It's multiples of three. So I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to make sure my chain is laying straight up. And I am going to bring that end over here to my hook. And I'm going to go right into that for the top of that first chain. Now we're going to slip stitch. Okay, now we closed our ring. I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work a single, a half double, and a double right back into that chain. So that single, half double, and double right back into that chain. Pull that down a little. Now we skip two chains, one, two, and we're gonna work the exact same thing into the next chain. I'm kind of pinching down here so it's not stretching that next chain out. Single, half double, and a double. Skip one, two, single, half double, and a double. Skip two, one, two, into the next with a single, half double, and a double. Now, as we're going, if there's ever a point, like I'll work this next part and I'm going to show you guys what I was, what I'm going to say. So I'm going to skip two. I'm going to single. Half double. And double into that chain. Now, if you don't hold or kind of pinch that next chain so it doesn't, you know, stretch real far. 
and you let's say you know you're lost in your chains and you don't know where you're at just give it a pull and it'll come out and then you're going to be able to see your next chain so go ahead and skip two single half double double into the next skip two single half double double into the next repeat that around and i'll meet you guys at, at the beginning okay so i've made it back around and if you were coming around and your chain is all kind of wonky looking <laughs> don't panic or anything just take your chain lay it back out the way it needs to go and it'll work out itself just like that tails to the bottom and there we go so i skip one two single, half double, double, skip two, back to the beginning, so I'm going to slip stitch to my first single crochet we worked right there. Tighten up my working or my tail right there, and that is row one. So for row two, we're going to chain one and turn and right back into that single crochet that we slip stitched into. We're going to start with our so we're kind of working to the back just a little bit. We're going to work a, our single half double and our double now I'm going to go ahead and mark this my first stitch <laughs> with a stitch marker just because I don't want to lose it you don't have to mark it or you can use a piece of scrap mark that and now we just keep doing work doing what we were doing skip two which happens to be every time it should be your single crochet so we're going to single half double double skip two into your single with a single half double and a double skip two should be your single so go ahead and repeat that around and i'll meet you guys at the beginning okay i'm back and i've made it around i worked into my last single with a single half double and a double skip two and we're going to slip stitch back to the first single of our round get in there chain one and turn and now we're just going to repeat row two through for the whole hat and we're going to start it out again remember we're going to kind of work back a little bit so we're going to go right back into that same single crochet we just slip stitched into with a single half double and a double i'm going to go ahead and mark my first one so i don't lose it and then just keep repeating now i'm going to work this off camera and i'm going to come back and let you guys know how many rounds I did because what this hat is going to be is one of those one of the um, hats that we just work up work up work up work up and then when it's long enough we're going to uh, slip stitch it or not slip stitch but you know close our round with a slip stitch like we do here and then we're going to weave in and out at the top of the stitches and then pull tight and then so it's like it's a it's called a drawstring hat so that's all this is going to be. So 
actually the way I'm making it, you if you guys wanted to, like I I kind of want mine to be more of like a um I don't know people call them beanies or you know of oops sorry about my camera of well fitting hat, but you could also do this as a what are those what are the hats called that slouch hats or slouchy hats I don't know to where it's like it hangs off the back of your head a little bit. So anyway, all I'm going to do is just keep repeating row two into every single, which should be skipping two, single, skip two, single. We're going to work our single, half double, and our double all the way around, slip stitch to our first single of the row, chain one, and turn. Now the reason we were turning is because if we didn't and just kept working in a circle, the pattern would not show through. It'd all go in one direction and that's not what we want. We want to have the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth look. So I'm going to work this off camera and I'll come back and I'm going to tell you guys how many rounds I worked. Okay guys, I'm back and I have repeated row two 22 more times for a total of 24 rows for our hat. And I went ahead and slip stitched to our first single crochet of the round, chained one, and I pulled up a loop. I'm going to pull out, oh, I'd say a foot, foot and a half. Cut. Now we're going to weave that tail around. Get it on my needle. Okay, so I'm just going to go in, skip one, come out, skip one, go in, skip that little bitty one, right there, and then come out the next, skip in, skip out, skip in, skip out, pull that through, and I'm just going to keep working this around, skip in, skip out, skip in, skip out, skip in, skip out. So go ahead and repeat this all the way around until we're back to our beginning. If you need to mark that with the stitch marker, you can. I have a little piece of tail. I'm just going to pull through there so I know where I started. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that around to your beginning and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made it back around. I accidentally pulled out my little piece of scrap. So now I'm going to put my hand through the inside. I'm going to take my, take the rest of my yarn. I'm going to pull it through. I got my hand setting on the inside to catch everything that balls up when I pull this tight. So you can see how it's balling up. I just got my hand there to catch everything. Be careful though, because if you pull this too tight, it's going to pop. We don't want that to happen. So I got it closed shut. Now I'm just going to grab everything with my hand here, pull it out. Make sure you still. Have your needle on your hook or um <laughs> your needle on your yarn okay so i'm gonna just so right here in the center is the hole right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave this kind of back and forth and then this way so it's gonna keep that hole shut so i come out right here so now i'm just gonna come straight across <laughs> and i'm just gonna go through some fibers where i can get it Pull that tight. Now I'm going to come to this side. Try to get a hold and a stitch. I'm going to come right across. And I'm going to go in. Pull it tight that way. Now I'm going to come back this way. Catch some stitches. Some stitches on this side. And now, see how I got that loop? I'm going to run my needle right through the loop. So then it's kind of knotting it. 
I'm just going to do that one more time. I'll run my needle through the loop and pull tight and it's going to knot it. So now I'm going to trim this off a little bit. I'm going to leave these ends in. I'm just going anywhere. I'm no, not going anywhere special through the bottom of a couple stitches. I'm just going to go back and forth. Oops, right off my hook. It's good enough. Okay, so there is our hat. Now you guys could do a border. I don't want to do a border. I like the way it sits on my head like this. Now, for my pom pom, I get these off Amazon. It's a gray one, and I don't know if you guys can see the little black tips. Which, it's weird, because in some lighting, it's so gray, it looks purple, which I don't really like. But I'm going to have to order some different, some different um, yellow, <laughs> different gray. So I've got a strand of yarn here, which is actually left over from what I cut. And this is how I like to do my pom-poms, just in case there's ever a time, you know, I decide to change the color or... I no longer like the hat and I want the pom-pom back, I can just take them off. So I'm going to weave one end through my needle. Always make sure the pom-poms you get have this a little piece of elastic at the bottom. I'm going to run that through my elastic. Got my hand on the inside of my hat. And pay attention to where, where you're going because right in the center is where we sewed that hole closed and I'm going to go on one side with one strand, pull it through, pull it off my hook. <coughs> I'm going to go th weave, weave the other end right across from where my first one went in. So here's the first one. I'm going to go right across. Go through there. So now I'm pulling it out. Now I just take these two ends, pull it tight to the top of my hat, flip it inside out, and I'm going to tie this. Pull it real tight up the first, and now I'm just going to do work a bow like you're tying your shoe. So that way, tails so that way when I ever want to change it all I gotta do is just untie this bow or you know what have you maybe if you're making a hat for kids and they want to wash it all they gotta do is untie this and there you go there is your hat now I made another one I'm gonna grab it and show you guys This one is a brighter yellow. It is um, Karen One Pound. Oh, I can't remember the color. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you guys. Can you see the difference in the pom-poms? Like how this one is nice and fluffy and this one's kind of all over the place. I blow-dried this one. This one isn't. But I decided to make another one because this yellow wasn't kind of... Uh, What am I trying to say? It wasn't what I thought. Like, I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. So I went ahead and made another yellow one, but I love them. They fit great. And if you guys do decide you want to do, like, a double crochet, or I wouldn't do a double. I'd do, like, a half double or a single um, border around the bottom. Only work a total of 23 rows. Don't work 24. So, like, only repeat row 2 21 times instead of 22. And then that should give you enough length for your your border that you put at the end or the beginning. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, join my Facebook group. It's in the description box of this video. And there's some other goodies for you down there. <laughs> so... I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun making and they, they work up pretty quick too. So uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.